Today I'm going to show you my bucket that I use to hydrate my mushrooms. So the main components are a fan, some mist makers, a bucket, and plumbing. Basically, you want to make sure that your plumbing is always going up and not down because if it goes down, the moisture will collect in there and it'll fill up. So you got to have your fogger below your set up and all your pipes have to go up. I'll leave it up to you to go to the store and build your own masterpiece out of PVC, but it's pretty easy to do. So once you got that <clears throat> nailed down, you get yourself some of these pond foggers, okay? And now I used a regular old Ziploc container and some foam, cut a hole out, throw these in here and it's going to float up and down in the bucket. This will hold up to four comfortably. You can also use these floats. If you use these floats, they float in the bucket nicely, but if you use four, when it gets down to about here, they pinch together and they stop working. This will ride all the way down to the bottom <clears throat> for those long, long nights when you don't get back to your mushrooms. So something I was thinking about doing was adding this little float valve. So the float valve would come out here, and then as the water level went down, it would open up the valve and let more water in, and then close the valve once the water level reached something that was safe. And I could just put another bucket up higher or hook it up to the plumbing or something like that. I haven't got around to that yet, but that's something you could look at. So, how does all this work anyway? Fill this bad boy up with about four gallons of water or so. Throw in your basket contraption or whatever you decided to go with. Next, I got this the four inch vent fan. This is just a coupler. Bend it over like this. So half of these tabs are on the outside, half of the tabs are on the inside. And then I sealed it up with some caulk. Very basic stuff. Made another hole in here. These wires through this hole. You can even make custom holes for the wires. I made a second one and I used the holes. I made custom holes for the wire. So then you got this guy here, just slides on there like that. And then you hook uh, some flexible hose up to your, I do one for each shelf of my fruiting chamber. And then plug everything in and the, the mist comes shooting out. 